time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? Brought to you by Remington Rand, makers of the world's number one electric shaver, the Remington. Now, let's all play What's My Line? Well, you come over here and sit down next to me, and on the basis of uh, your residence, what you said, the trip you took, and everything. At this point, we give them one free guess as to what your line may be. We begin the free guesses as usual with Miss Emerson. I think Mr. Kalminer has something to do with dude ranches where lonesome ladies stay. Mm, Mr. Sir. He's probably one of those divorce lawyers out in Nevada. Miss Francis. I think he plays professional football. Mr. Block. I think he sells headache powders to giant fans. <laughs> Well, it's been nice seeing you, Tom. Yes, it has been. It was Bobby easy. And Francis. <laughs> Mr. Tommy Kelman. <laughs> I gave it away. Your shoulders, man. Oh, brother. <laughs> you just couldn't I do anything. Some of it was all in the coat. No, it isn't. It's I really feel different. terribly about it. Really, I do. It's I'll come it. and watch you play. Where do you play? Who wins? Uh, we play New York Giants Thursday here at the Polo Grounds. And thereby lies the story I want to tell, too. Mr. Tommy Kalminer plays halfback for the champion Los Angeles Rams, and they're going to play the New York Football Giants because it's coming Thursday at the Polo Grounds. That's Thursday, September 18th, that would be, right? That's right. And it's for the New York Journal American Hearst Free Milk Fund for Babies. So uh, this is the only time that the Los Angeles Rams are going to be here in New York. If you want to see them play, you've got to go out and get your tickets. If you haven't got them, it's a good chance I to get them now. I certainly will. And send you some tea formation to go with yeah. it. I won't. <laughs> Maybe we'll even put them on a new show called What's My Lineman? What's My Lineman? <laughs> well, Tommy, there's one thing I refuse to do. When you come all the way from Reno and Las Vegas to see us, we're going to send you away happy answer. We'll just flip and see what happens. What happens? 25. Well, looks like you want $25. But what's My Lineman? <laughs> Miss Marlowe, time is very... It's miss, is it? Yes, Time it is. is very short, so we'll dispense with the hike. The panel has had a chance Hi. to look at you. Would you come with me? Sit right down here. And uh, the panel now, having had a quick look at you, we always give them one free guess as to what your line may be, and we begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. Ballerina. Ballerina, Mr. Allen. I think Mrs. Marlowe is a doll. <laughs> it's Miss Marlowe, and she is a doll, all right. Miss <laughs> Francis? I think she's a trapeze performer. Mr. Sir. She's a red-headed girl, third from the left at Ringling Brothers Circus. <laughs> well, that makes it very interesting. It was a brief and lovely visit. Miss Arlene said that you were a trapeze performer. <laughs> Mr. Smith said that you were with Ringling Brothers Circus. <laughs> well, I'll be doggone. Actually, I think in my memory, Miss Marlowe, this is the, only the third time in three years that this has happened. You see, you do what you do with such uh, tremendous conviction and grace that unhappily even uh, walking here, everybody can see what you do. Here now, please, and sit down next to me. And uh, I think perhaps you know that at this point, we always uh, let the panel have one free guess as to what a line may be. And we always begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. Well, I'd say from his gay suit that he's a baseball umpire revolting against that blue surge. Mm -hmm. Mr. Allen. I think he's uh, in the armed forces. Miss Francis. I think he's the mayor of Holyoke. Mr. Sir. I think he's not only in the armed forces, but that he's an army general. Mm -hmm. What did you say, Dorothy? I thought he was a baseball umpire, just tired of those old blue surge suits. You ever hear a man named Ed Hurley? <laughs> Meet Mr. Ed Hurley. Oh, no. <laughs> sure that uh, we had to use the device of Mr. John Doe because you'd all know the name Ed Hurley, but we did not think that looking down those vast reaches of the baseball field that you would be able to recognize the umpire behind second base at the World Series. <laughs> and Ed Hurley has been the umpire behind second base. And Ed, I'm awfully sorry that we didn't give him more trouble, but at the same time, I'm very glad you're here, even if uh, Dorothy did get this right off. Now you come over, if you will, and sit down right next to me, and I think probably you know that... Uh, <laughs> The panel gets one free guess before we really put the hooks into them, and we'll use uh, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen to start the free guesses. Well, Miss Rubin gave Steve rather an odd look just now. I think she must be a mind reader. <laughs> 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 Wonderful, Mr. Allen. 
I tell you, I got an odd look, but she didn't give it to me. Uh, maybe she was looking at the peculiar costume I have on tonight. I think she's a color consultant. A color consultant? Miss Francis. I think she's a lifeguard at some fortunate swimming pool. Mr. Sir. Well, I noticed how neatly Miss Rubin wrote her name with that little circle for a dot over the eye. I would say she's a school teacher. A school teacher? Strange, because she's a lifeguard at some fortunate swimming pool. <laughs> Let's review a little history now. This is the third time in our more than four years of doing the program that this has happened. Huh? Six? Is it? No. We and first we're all very sorry, too. Atomic scientists, and then the traffic Two umpires. police. Two umpires. The umpire, baseball umpire. man, Santa That's right. Claus. Flip that's some right. cards, John. Flip some cards. I'm tired tonight. <laughs> Flip them all at once. There, that's the only way to do that. <laughs> Now I think we ought to tell the panel how smart we thought. We're going to tie you in knots with this one because Miss Carroll is a lifeguard that we were hoping you'd get to. Do you work for a profit-making organization? And she would say no. She works for the Army? Well, she doesn't work for the Army, actually. She works for the Officers Club. That's hmm. part of the Army, isn't no, it? No, that would, would have been a social group, and we were going to hang you up on that rope for the better part of ten minutes. And then uh, we were going to tell you what it was That's all a shame. about. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Ruin. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Is it Miss or Mrs.? Miss. Miss? Where are you from, Miss Foreman? California, Los Angeles. Oh, well, wonderful. It's nice to have somebody from way out the West Coast. Now, we're running a little short of time, so yes. you take a look at the panel, will you? Yes. Now, you take a look at Miss Foreman, will you? Fine. Now, you come with me, Miss Foreman. Thank you. You'll sit right down here. The panel's had a very quick look at you. It did. On that basis, we'll give them the one free guess that they get, and we begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think she's a choreographer. A choreographer, Mr. Lewis. I believe she owns Harry's Bar. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Francis. I think uh, Miss Foreman's a stunt performer in pictures. Mr. Serp. I think Miss Foreman's a dramatic coach. You think she's a dramatic coach? That's a very interesting answer. In fact, uh, it's a correct answer. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let our viewers at home... <laughs> but now I tell you this, Miss Foreman is a rather special type of uh, dramatic coach, and we have a particular reason for having here. Let's see, for fun, if you can figure out what the special reason is, what area it is first, beginning with, with Bennett, since you started things off. Why she's here as a dramatic coach? Yeah. Well... I would guess. particular reason why she's here. Well, I would guess that we've had Miss America who may need some dramatic coaching. Maybe that's what you're going to be doing. Oh, that's fine, Bennett. That's one. <laughs> Nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, well, may we ask questions about it or yeah, just guess? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, do you uh, do your coaching in a particular place? No. No. I mean, float. A float, you mean? No. That well, is two down and eight to go, Mr. Lewis. Let me see what we're to determine, John. We're to determine why the lady is here in yeah, New York. The, what we're announcing is there's a special reason why Miss Foreman as a dramatic coach is here. There's a special area of interest. I well, now, there was a very special area of interest that preceded Edna into New York this week. It was a thing called Marilyn. Could possibly this lovely lady have something to do with that uh, lady? Marilyn Monroe. Oh, Marilyn Monroe. Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, then, uh, I know that they're doing a picture here in town, and uh, you are coaching her, perhaps, in that particular part. Yes. We How do you have a seven-year itch? It's Miss Foreman. Is your name sometimes... Are you sometimes known as Miss Lutez? Yes. Well, that's why yes, your face Mr. looks vaguely familiar to me, and that's why I said Germanic coach. Mm -hmm. And wasn't I a fool not to put two and two together? Well, now, this just... You did, you did, you did. We were very proud of ourselves. We thought we'd tie you into all kinds of <laughs> knots, you know? Yeah. But we didn't tie you into any kinds of knots all right, at all. All right, Mr. Hollingsworth, if you'll come over here, please, and sit down next to me. The panel will get its customary uh, free guess, its wild guess as to what your line may be. We'll begin the wild guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think he's a croupier at a roulette table. A croupier at a roulette table, Mr. Allen. From Nevada, I think that he sharpens the needles on cactus plants out there. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Francis. I think he has a ranch for vacationers. Mr. Sir. I think he fixes those one-armed bandits so that every one man in a million gets the jock jackpot. <laughs> That's right, Mr. Sir. Congratulations. 
He fixes slot machines oh, is no. absolutely right. <laughs> vacation you get to go on. <laughs> well, there you on. come back and upset the apple I cart. I stopped vacation. off in Las Vegas last year and saw that was the only occupation they have out there. <laughs> losing well, them. Mr. Hollingsworth, I must say, one thing we'll do immediately, because Bennett had a vacation, is flip all the cards over. That's uh -huh. for sure. <laughs> John Foster Dulles stays longer in one place than Mr. Hollingsworth. 